my name's Liana. I'm a clicker trainer and rabbit behaviorist. This here is Peppa, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to safely pick up and hold your rabbit. So let's jump in. So I've been asked to make a video on how to pick up a rabbit, and I've had a particular request to talk about how to do it if your rabbit doesn't like it. So thanks for that question. Now, the answer is you would pick them up pretty much the same way whether they like it or not. And more often than not, your rabbit won't like it. So it's important that I preface this video by saying that unless you have a rabbit who genuinely enjoys being picked up, and I know there are some, I don't advocate picking up your rabbit for no reason or just to cuddle. There's other ways to cuddle with your bunny and picking them up is just not the best way to do so. As I mentioned in my Bunny Instincts video, to a rabbit, being picked up can feel like being carried off by a predator. That is why the majority of rabbits won't like it. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it in the card above so you can check it out. Now I'm holding Wally here at the risk of half a day's hate and rejection to illustrate another point. This is something I notice people are not aware of. Some rabbits, like Wally, will tolerate being picked up. They won't scramble or try to jump down. They, as you can see, Wally is very calm, still seemingly relaxed as I'm holding him. I can even hold him with one arm like this if I wanted to. Now, this behavior can often be misconstrued, and understandably so, that they like being held, but that really isn't the case. So how do I know Wally doesn't actually like this? Well, he tells me when I put him down. Not verbally, obviously, but as rabbits always do, they communicate through their body language and he will have a lot to say. So I'm gonna gently put him down and as I do, notice how I'm keeping him close. I'm supporting his hindquarters, which I'm going to talk more on in a sec. And there you go, bud. Any stamps? Oh. Clicking his feet, he's off, he's off, and he's gone into the other room to get as far away from me, the incredibly inconsiderate and abusive individual that I am. I'm sorry, Wally. I feel shame. Basically, thumping or feet flicking is your rabbit's way of cursing or swearing at you. Can I give you the middle finger? Now, what if we have to pick up our rabbit? Maybe to groom them or give them a health check? or to get them out of harm's way for some reason. There are a number of ways to do it, and my way may not be exactly the same as the next person, but there are three important rules that will be a constant with every correct method of handling. So here's our rabbit here to demonstrate the three rules. Number one, you must support their back legs. Remember, we're trying to minimize that feeling of being picked up by a scary bird or something. So by supporting their back legs, we're making them feel like the ground is coming with them and not falling away beneath them. Number two, keep them as close to your body as possible. So get your torso as close to them as you can. This means you'll have to get down on the floor as opposed to bending over from standing and picking them up from here. In a moment, I'm going to pick up Pepper from the floor because I feel like people often demonstrate picking up a rabbit from a table, which is rarely the case in real life. We're usually picking them up from where they are, which is on the floor. And number three, never put them on their back. Putting them on their back like this results in tonic immobility, or what's more commonly known as trancing. Trancing is a play dead instinct that prey animals will revert to in an attempt to get a predator to leave them alone. It's highly stressful and there have been behavioral studies to prove it. There are also theories that trancing can reduce a rabbit's lifespan because of the stress it puts on the heart. So it might seem cute to hold them like a baby, they might seem calm and relaxed, but that's not what's really going on at all. And I actually like that this toy kind of looks really awkward being held like this because it's a good physical representation of how your rabbit feels in this position. And look, whether you choose to believe that this reduces their lifespan or not, as a positive reinforcement trainer, I can tell you that in doing this, 
you will be applying a negative association to picking them up, which is just going to mean they will avoid you more and potentially give you more resistance when you need to pick them up in the future. These three rules will all help to support and comfort your rabbit. And if you do have a particularly feisty bunny, closely following these rules will be a huge help. When you don't follow these rules, this is when you will encounter scrambling or back leg kicking, and you can get really hurt from that. Also, in turn, it can lead to you dropping them and potentially causing them serious injury, especially if you've not followed rule number two and you've actually tried to pick them up from standing. And when I say serious injury, I'm talking like broken bones and spinal damage. Now here's Peppa. She's a perfect example of a rabbit who can't stand being picked up and you can tell she knows exactly what's about to happen here. And here's the thing, let me pause it here. With a rabbit that hates this, you really just need to go for it. Be confident and know what you're doing going in. That's why I'm just doing a running commentary for you here, because Pepper wasn't at all comfortable with me hanging about and slowly talking this through. If your rabbit is anything like her, I'd advise practicing with a stuffed toy, like I had earlier, to get familiar with picking them up in one swift but secure movement. Okay, let's get back to it. You can see here that I'm using one hand to cradle her chest. I'm right-handed and almost always use my right hand for this. Then as I lift, I'm supporting her back legs with my left hand and bringing her in close to my body. By kneeling, you can see how I was very quickly able to provide the support of my body. Notice that as I hold her, I'm keeping her parallel with the ground to make her feel as stable as possible and to avoid accidentally trancing. I'm also using my left forearm like a platform underneath her whole body. When I go to put her down, I'm making sure that I'm maintaining that same support of her hindquarters as I did when I picked her up. I'm kneeling all the way down again in order to keep her close to me right down to the ground where she can then safely leave my arms. So there we have it, how to safely pick up a rabbit. Now I do wanna let you know that it is actually possible to use clicker training to get them to like being picked up, actually like being picked up. But it is very advanced training and a very delicate, lengthy process that incorporates a lot of gradual steps. And I could certainly do it, but it's not something I've ever felt the need to train my two. Coming when they're called, going to a place on command, it all works perfectly well for me. And giving them that freedom and that control is a lot more fun for them. I will, I promise, I will be making videos on clicker training very soon. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss those uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you found it valuable and feel free to leave a comment. Oh, and also, happy Halloween. <laughs>